After leaving Yellowstone National Park, we headed to my grandparents' ranch in southern Idaho, which was only a few hours away from Yellowstone. We got to hang out with my grandmother and help her get some work done. This is a nice occasion for her as at five feet tall and 87 years old, she handles this whole place on her own, strenuous hikes and much heavy lifting included. For the most part over the years, horses have been the only animals on my family's ranch. These creatures have amazing spirits and my grandfather was always on another level of connection and communication with them. Unfortunately, a few months after this, we lost one of these two at 23 years old. What's amazing about Grandma is she harvests much of her own food and has never stopped staying in shape and eating healthy no matter how many years have gone by, which is a great example to follow. sheep show. One of the best parts about being on a ranch is the abundance of food growing around you, like this apple tree that we were parked right under. We must have eaten about 30 of these bad boys during our stay. Needing to be back in LA for a couple of days, we temporarily left the home on wheels at the ranch and headed down in the Jetta. For a quick trip like this, the car and hotels would be much more simple and economical. But the great part is, with this lifestyle, you can have that choice anytime. Our main reason to be back in LA was to play a gig to help out a dear friend. Talented DJ and radio host Ricardo Torres had been in a very serious accident and Deep LA's Marcus Wyatt spearheaded an event to help aid him in his recovery. Ourselves included, 16 DJs and multiple promoters all stepped up for the cause, along with the many that showed love on the dance floor. This kind of compassion, support and positivity is exactly what is so beautiful about the house music community. If I wouldn't have this love and this, this family, I wouldn't have been the same. So thank you so much. I love you all. Once we got back to the ranch, we picked up our home on wheels and started heading south. Our next destination was Provo, Utah for two nights. Upon arrival to Provo, we were very excited to chill with some wine by the campfire, but those plans were quickly shot down. So we're here in Utah and we're definitely adjusting to <laughs> So we found out, we know that you can only get beer, or, sorry, out of in liquor stores, which we expected. So we're like, oh, we'll just get some wine for our campsite. But, uh, Apparently that's a spirit. So you can't even get wine. <laughs> so now we're here at a bar. And tomorrow's Columbus Day, so... Cheers. <laughs> I see you. I see you, Utah.
so much beauty. It's ridiculous. Dude, these people are really serious. Let me. I think it would be foolish. Let's see what kind of animal attacks him. Nice raccoon's gonna wrap around your neck. Prime example of curiosity killed the cat. No, it's like a little bear. In this case, curiosity kills the Canadian. I mean, if I would live here, or if we would live here, we'd be doing this. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? Fly went in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up in the next episode, we make our first major mistake and sink the RV into the sand. But fortunately, we sink in a beautiful setting. After that, we begin having a blast exploring stunning southern Utah.